G'day guys, Moose here. Welcome to the school workshop. And today I'm gonna to show you the most underrated project you can do at school, you can do in your garage, the timber box. There are thousands of uses for them. They introduce you to new equipment, new hand tools, uh, plans. You can upskill from little kids to the big kids, the seniors, and, oh, check it out. Today, we're gonna to do these fun, cool timber storage boxes. Business card holder. What I love about it, it is scrap wood. I literally got it out of the scrap bin over there. It uses minimal equipment. It doesn't take long to do at all. You can do it in a day. The longest you wait is for the glue to dry. That's it, let's get into it. Oh, you love what we're up to, please click the like, subscribes, spread the word means the world to me. Peace and love, let's go. Sawdust and chrome. Sawdust and chrome. Everybody loves. Sawdust and chrome. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back. So, depending on your scraps that you've got, please make sure that they're square. Um, that finish on them doesn't have to be schmick yet. It's just, we've got to sand them later on anyway, but they need to be square. Helps with your equipment, um, it's better on the tools, and for marking out. Marking out. If you don't have them, super handy, grab yourself a pair of French, a set of French curves. Um, I guess if you're one of my fans in France, they're just called curves. And fun fact, um, they were invented by a German mathematician years ago called Ludwig Burmeister. Um, that's it. No, rubber, pencil. Oh, marking out. Tips are whatever curvy shape you're doing, depending on your equipment, mainly your sanding equipment, um, Make sure your curves aren't asking too much of your equipment or you're not giving yourself hours and hours of sanding work. So that might decide what curvy shapes you do. But curvy shapes, what I want is two points that are nice and flat so they can be level on tables and desks and whatnot. The rest, the curves are up to you and obviously we do a flat base inside. But for now, all we're gonna do is mark out our outside shapes. That's all you need to worry about. You guys can rock out and we'll draw some of these up. Think too much when you do in your designs. Um, trust your eye. As long as you've got some flowy curves, the bandsaw and the sanders will fix everything. So don't think too much. Now you're going to rock out. I might put some punk music on for you. Um, we're going to head across to the bandsaw. I'm going to rough out my shapes. Then we're going to sand them up so that they're schmick. Please pay attention. You've got your two points of contact so they're nice and flat in a couple sections. Um, that's it. Let's go, peace and love. Just a quick one, if you're new to this wonderful piece of machinery, the bandsaw, um, I'll pop up a safety video. That is gonna keep you nice and safe and we don't wanna damage anything I, we can't grow back. That's it. Cool kids, these are pretty much the shapes I want them to be. Um, you still don't have to have them red hot perfect cause 
We're going to cut them up, do a bit more band sawing, and then they will get a final sand tomorrow. <laughs> Depending on your equipment. So we're going to cut the outside shoulders off. So take into account what the purpose is. Does it have to be skinny? Does it have to be chunky? Um, do I have lots of room versus do I have a little bit of room to cut the shoulders off? Depending on your bandsaw, how good it is, um, you can bandsaw them off. Um, I might use our table saw just because I've got one and I might as well use it. So whatever kit you've got, go nuts. But the idea is we're going to take the shoulders off the thickness we want. Then we're going to bandsaw out the center, then glue them back together. Simple. All right, let's go. Surely it must be dad joke time as well. Why do chickens not like the internet? Because they prefer books, 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 books. All right, let's get into it. Hey guys, welcome back. Apologies. I hit record, but I obviously didn't hit record, so I missed all of it. All I've done is cut the shoulders off all these guys. So, your next bit is to, we want to draw the flat base. So I'll drag the camera down and I'll zoom in and I'll show you how to do one and then all the rest are the same. There's only really a couple things you've got to check just to make sure you get perfect. Uh, I'll change the camera. All I want you to make sure you do is with a piece of scrap, use that to help you get your perfect flat bottoms. Make sure you've got enough timber there. You don't want it too skinny and we obviously don't want it too fat. And I usually use the thickness of my timber as my gauge for here. So I'm going to cut out all of this on the bandsaw. Sorry, I mark them all up the same. I'm going to cut that section out. Then I'm going to glue this back together. My other tip is totally up to you. Depends how precious you are with the grain matching at the back. If you're not super precious about it, what you can do is actually the rough sides, glue them opposite. Once it's glued back together, it's heaps easier to sand an outside edge than it is to sand these inside edges. So. I'm actually a fan of swapping them over. Once I've cut out the center, swap it back, glue it up. Um, but I'll remind you later on down the track. For now, whoop, that's the key. All right, I'll mark the rest out. You guys can rock out. Hot tip, please be careful with these from now on because they're super weak across these because the grain's running that way so it's very weak there. Until these are glued kind of back together, please be careful. All right, last bit before we can glue them together. You give them a quick hit, 
sanding inside. Please be careful, like I just said, with the corners. So there's nothing clever. I reckon the easiest way is to wrap a bit of sandpaper around a file. It's up to you how fussy you want to be. Give it a quick hit. So we can glue them up. It's obviously easier to sand them now than it is tomorrow when it's glued together. You guys rock out. If you want them to go back and keep your grain and you want to sand the rough inside, this is the best way to do it. Alright, last bit. When you're happy with how they fit and you're going with the grain or you're going opposite sides, but basically once you're happy with how it's going to fit together, we're going to glue it up. I'll show you how. Got my glue, got a rag, and I got a chisel. Sorry, just check you're in camera. A little bit of glue. If you've got access to a bench vise, even easier. Because all you do, wider than I need, rest it on the, uh, the bench vise bars, slowly clamp it up, just making sure it's flat and you're happy with how it's lined up. When you've got it, Give it a squeeze. Check that you're happy. You've got to be happy enough you can walk away from it. How it dries is how it's going to be there tomorrow. If it's the tiniest bit out, it doesn't really matter because we're going to give it a quick sand tomorrow. Wipe as much glue as you can get, especially on the inside. Once this is all glued up, mate, tomorrow's job is going to take about five minutes. And between you and me, I'm a little bit tempted to do a giveaway. So I reckon the first two people, the first two Sawdust and Chrome fans, some Chromies, um, leave me a bit of love, subscribe, spread the word. If you, are, if you go out of your way to show me some love, I'm more than happy to send you some of these finished projects. So that one's done. I'm happy to leave it as it is. I'll show you what I've done. So done. Glue it up. Glue it up. couple more. So they're all going to be sweet for tomorrow. Look at my cute little business card holder. So if you're a fan, let me know. I'll see what we can do. That's it for today. I'm going to see you tomorrow. We've got five minutes of work tomorrow. We just got to wait for them to dry. I always let stuff dry overnight because I'm not in a mad rush. Um, thank you so much for being on board. 
peace and love. Spread the word. We'll give some of this stuff away. All right. Love you guys. G'day guys. Welcome back. It's the next day. Best part of this project. Need a bit of sanding. We're going to oil them up. It's like a five minute job. That's it. Can't wait. Please click all the buttons and like, subscribe, spread the word. Spread the love about sawdust and chrome. That's it. Let's go. Before I get into the oiling, a teaching moment. They're all pretty good, but one of them's got a tiny gap between the shoulder and the center part when I glued it up. It's on the bottom, I should have been a smidge fussier having a look underneath. Um, and totally up to you, I could have maybe sanded the insides a little better, but they're only little cute boxes. They're gonna be full of junk. So, totally up to you how fussy you wanna be. Oiling, my only hot tip with the oiling is, we use Scandinavian oil, it's not the cheapest thing, so I always use a little rag to wipe it on, so I don't need a huge rag to be soaked up with oil that I'm not gonna use, so little rag, wipe on, bigger rag, you just buff it off. Buff it off so it's dry to touch, and then you're done. One coat's heaps, that's it, you guys rock out. What do you reckon? I love this project. Most of all, because it's minimal equipment, easy glue up job. You don't have to be crazy fussy accurate. Best bit is it's just scrap wood. Um, it's a big favorite here at school. Oh, don't forget the competition. Show me how you've been sharing the love about sawdust and chrome. Best comments, best, um, I don't know. I'll leave it up to you guys. But. If you're keen, let me know how you've shared the love. Let me know which box you'd love and I'll send it out to you. I think that's it, guys. Go get yourself some more tools, spread the word, and that's it. Have a great day. Peace and love. Today, I'm gonna to make you, we're gonna make boxes. Close to the shapes. Uh, I'm basically waiting for your glue to dry. No. I reckon, and, Good morning guys. It's the next day. The best. Crazy fussy with the marking out, the tools. Um, I think it's time to go home. 